And welcome to the Ruby Tuesday, my name is Ruben and this is my review for the Dragon Prince Season 3. Season 3 of the epic tale of magical owls, gargantuan dragons and, and of an ancient enmity between the races of men and magical creatures of Exadia only pushes the story further and deeper while expanding the world even wider, solidifying the Dragon Prince as one of the great animated fantasies of our time. I was very excited when Netflix first mentioned that they were doing the Dragon Prince because the creators behind it of the original um, Airbender uh, series uh, and the Legend of Ang the Airbender and they're even in books as very similar in animation style and the format they do it and I have to say I fell in love with the animation style and the characters within like I did with Avatar um, it's so good the storyline is so interesting so fun season three if you like season one and two and you felt like there was this kind of cliffhanger in season two and you wondered how they could possibly expand or make it better you're in for a treat there are amazing um, action sequences and story that a uh, story expanding on that universe that we know and love, but the characters that we know and love are separate. Um, well, for at least for the first few episodes, they're they're having to go on their own adventures, and I'm trying to do my best by not doing any spoilers because there are definitely spoilers to be had in this. Suffice to say that the battles in this are so much bigger, and the consequences are so much bigger as well. And then the 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 kind of the reveals. I love the reveals in season one and two. That that they had there's moments where like oh that's what that guy's doing that's what that kid is oh the dragon's still alive those are evident in season three as well and I'm, I'm loving book three i think the animation is kept the same as season one and two it's it's very vibrant it's very colorful and it's very in your face one of the best things though about this series is the score it's one of the scores that gets stuck in your head and every episode is driven by the score and then you have the voice work and the the characters that defined that are defined by the voice voice work and here they're top notch you know them immediately as soon as you hear them at least for the english actors you kind of fall in love with the characters and you know when they're they're coming alive even some of the, the the quirky animal sounds that you get from you know from the dragons and the chameleon kind of creatures or the vast array of imaginative um, creatures that you find all have interesting um, sound effects and I think it's brilliant this whole world just feels like a fantastic adventure to escape in. if you're looking for an animated series uh, to get your family involved with as a family to watch this is definitely one for it because it's escapism at its best the school the acting and the story are all quality you're not really going to find a better series than this in story and now you have the third season that just kind of heightens that storyline again that was fantastic to watch and i really urge anybody that loves animation um series that if you loved ang and you were worried about whether this would be as good i think it is i think it's great it's written well it's voiced well and the story is just fantastic um, I don't really want to go into spoilers because, it, like I said, there's a lot of spoiler territory yet to be had. Um, e even just the first episode, there's a giant dragon. It starts off with this amazing um, kind of flashback uh, where you see what, where one of this dragon's history is. And yeah, so every episode has something defining about that episode, but it furthers the arc well. It's put together in such a way that it, it's easy to binge. Um, once you start this, settle in because you're probably going to want to watch the whole lot all together. Let me know whether you liked uh, season three as much as season one and two. I definitely did. Um, where do you rate this in your favorite animations of all time? Not anime, but animations. Um, and uh, which season was the best for you so far? Season one, two or three? Um, I'm... Yeah, which is your favorite character? I really like the young king, actually. I think he's pretty cool. Um, let me know in the comments below what you thought about season three. But most of all, thanks so much for watching this review. Until next time, remember, live long and Tuesday.